home. We're going to be continuing our way through the alphabet, working on our cursive writing. Remember last week when we worked on C, A, D, and G? We then went to H, T, P, and E, L, F. The reason we started with these letters is because they're the most similar to their printed version, so they're easy to recognize. I hope you've been practicing because we're going to keep moving on to the rest of the alphabet. So the first letters we're going to be starting with today are I, U, and W. Again, like the letters last week, they're fairly similar to their printed counterparts. You just need to be careful at the difference between the U and the W, because when writing them together, they can kind of blend in. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep repeating the letters over and over again until you get them right. The next letters we're going to look at are J, Y, and Q. Now we're starting to get a little trickier. See how they all look similar to one another with their loops at the bottom? The key is to make sure you have a clear dot above the J, your Y doesn't come together at the top, and your Q has that clear loop in the back of the letter, not the front. The last letters we're going to do today are M and N. Again, they look very similar to one another, but the difference is the number of humps. Again, practice makes perfect, so make sure you repeat each letter as much as you can. Thanks for joining us as we practice our cursive writing. Be sure to check back into History at Home next week when we'll finish the alphabet. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at King Museum and on Facebook at King Heritage and Cultural Center. Thanks!